Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my bookish life. Today I want to talk about a book that I think everyone should be reading and I don't know if they are. So let's get to it. Friends, it is the end of middle grade March and this month I read a book that I am so positive will be in my top 10 middle grade of the year. Sisters of the Never See by Cynthia Ladick Smith. This is the Peter Pan retelling the world needs. Okay, when you think about Peter Pan, most people think about the problematic elements of the story, as well as the whimsical wonderfulness of Neverland. This book is all of that whimsical wonderness minus all of the problematic elements. It's so wonderful. This book has Wendy, Michael, and John as siblings, but it adds another sibling to the fray, and that is Lily. Lily is of indigenous descent, and she's very proud of her heritage and who she is. Wendy and Lily love each other. They're the best of friends, but things are happening in their family. It looks like their parents are going to separate. Separation of the parents is causing a separation between the best friends and sisters, and Everything seems to be falling apart until the day before they're going to leave and Peter Pan and Tinkerbell show up looking for Peter's shadow. From there, we explore the villainy of Tinkerbell, the villainy of Peter Pan, as well as the heroic qualities of all the Neverland characters. It is delightfully written, masterfully told, and I cannot, cannot stress enough how much I loved this book. I read this with the wonderful Kelly from Cozy Reader Kelly. We both said this book should be on everybody's shelves. Why aren't more people reading this? It was recommended to me by Lorelai Saverin when I interviewed her, and I'm actually kind of mad that it took me this long to get to it. Let's start with a little taste. Chapter one. Tick tock, tick tock. Each tick tick ticking second brought Lily and Wendy closer to the end of their time sharing a home as stepsisters. Not that they were on speaking terms anyway. You see, Wendy's father, Mr. George Darling, that's him in the trim navy suit, he had already accepted the assignment on Wall Street. And Lily's mama, Mrs. Florine Roberts Darling, that's her in the bright blue calico, she had flat out refused to quit her job with the tribe and move away from Oklahoma. And this, in turn, had created a rift between the girls over their own summer living arrangements. But that evening, the whole family was still together, surrounded by community, celebrating Big Brother John's high school school graduation. Gripping her rolled up ceremony program, Lily exclaimed, he's next, John's next. Flashing a brilliant smile, John strode across the stage in a flowing black robe with a bearded eagle feather dangling from his motorboard. His parents and siblings proudly rose, cheering. His grandparents, aunties, uncles, and cousins proudly rose, cheering. Great Auntie Lillian had done the beadwork herself. He looks so grown up. Wendy exclaimed as John raised his diploma high. Way go, John! Lily sang out as if she, he could hear her from the arena bleachers. In that joyful moment, Wendy, Moira, Angela, Darling never would have muttered that John was merely her stepbrother. And Lily Maria Roberts never would have boasted that John was her real brother. Instead, Wendy blinked back tears because everything was changing while Lily gave her mama and daddy bouncing high fives. Meanwhile, Mr. Darling lifted the sibling's four-year-old baby brother, Michael, onto his shoulders for a better view of John's big moment. 
John, 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 Michael chanted, clapping. John, 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 John. Michael shared a mama, Mrs. Robert Starling, with Lily and John. Michael shared a father, Mr. Darling, with Wendy. Michael would be staying with Lily, John, and their mama in Tulsa rather than boarding tomorrow's red-eye flight with Wendy and their father for New York City. Or so they all assumed at the time. You guys, get this on your TBR. Let me know down in the comments if you've read this book. I would love to hear from you. That's all I have for you for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you're finding something wonderful to read. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.